Hey guys, and welcome back to City Skylines, my city of Tweetopia, and episode 20 half. We are going to do something a little bit different today. Uh, normally we go around and do a whole load of stuff in the city, but I thought today we might just have a bit of a look around, see how things are going. I have installed, for today only, the uh, first person camera mod. It, it's quite nice, we get to run around and do some stuff as people. This, this is very good. Get to watch the, the, the world go by, see everything as it is. And uh, yeah, as I was saying, I thought we might just go around. So this is where it... Ooh. I've taken my mouse off the side of the screen. This is the one problem with the uh, with the first person mod. It seems to decouple my mouse pointer from the edge of the box, but uh, no, no biggie. So we start here where it all began. This was, of course, the highway that we started with here. There was not a train line here. We we just had this junction to get going with. And the first thing we did was come up and build this this massive intersection here, which for the today, at least, I'm calling the Twitch Jongi Memorial Intersection because it's just absolute murder. Uh, this definitely is an area that needs a lot of work here. Though I do like what we did with all the trees, particularly the palm trees running down the center. But this, this, this traffic here, it, it's horrible. It's not what we want. And that is also a, a notification that we don't want. But if we take a left-hand turn here, we start making our way down this road uh, to the first industrial slash commercial area we made. Here is, of course, one of our commercial train centres where everyone likes to come and uh, dump off their cargo. This is quite a quite a source of traffic for some inexplicable reason. I couldn't, I couldn't imagine why all the traffic comes from here. Uh, here we have the first of our real nasty sort of dump areas for our industrial zone. Uh, this really is just mainly for processing garbage and things like that. We, we've not named this district though, so maybe this should be something that we do at some point. Uh, whilst we do have a cemetery here, not saying that dead bodies are garbage, but they are definitely a waste product that my world uses, uh, we also have some land uh, landfills and these little uh, incinerators here, which I think uh, are very nice actually. Ooh. Where have we jumped? We've jumped onto the top of stuff. Um, yeah, they're, they're, they're nice, nice looking places. Combustion plants. I say they're nice looking places. They're nice if you enjoy sort of the industrial feel of an area. So, moving on, we have ourselves a little commercial zone. Cold Rich Park. Uh, Cold Rich Park. Yep, I, I can speak, honest. This is obviously uh, the commercial zone that we were working on last time. If you remember, we used to have a little triangle going across here. But now we... Oh, hello. We're all the way back here. Let's just jump over here. But now we have this thriving, bustling commercial centre with everything going on. Uh, some very nice looking buildings and assets in here. I thought this might be the, the one thing we do do, is just go around and have a look at all these places. Like, what do we have here? Is this uh, a bowling alley? No, it's a uh, Owley's bookstore. A Reilly's bookstore, even. Yes. I've been on the internet in the past five years. I know, I know what that means, honest. Uh, what do we have going on here? I can't actually make that out. It's all a bit, all a bit fuzzy and blurry, unfortunately. It's a really nice place to look around, though. Here is one of our many metro stations. I feel like we could have done more to make this look like a, a metro station. It, it, like this sign needs more, more things on the go. It just, it just needs to look a little bit better. Uh, of course, we are doing so well commercially that we, we have little areas that cannot get, cannot get the staff in, which is unfortunate unfortunate. Now the thing I wanted to come around and have a look at, if we can just stop the mouse from having a little squeal around there, is our little plaza over here. Or not. Are we come forward a little bit. This little plaza over here. Magnificent. Now I believe is the Statue of Wealth. Uh, this was done because we managed to uh, accumulate some wealth I believe. Uh, it could have been the fact that we, uh, we got some other things. Oh look. I've got to press it down. That, that's what's going on here. Okay, the Statue of Wealth, I believe, was received because we managed to get ourselves so many commercial sectors on the go. So I put it in amongst all our commercial sectors. We got ourselves some nice buildings next to it. I keep dropping myself on the other side here. This tower, looking very good. Perhaps they sell uh, some dentures back there. Very much they do. Okay, so coming on down further towards the city, uh, let's just take a little bit of a run. We have here... The worst junction in the world. Uh, yeah, it's not the worst. The problem, of course, is the fact... Oh, I, missed, I missed my road. I missed the road. Where do we go to get our back on it? No, we're stuck underneath it now. There we go. Uh, the problem, of course, is these little slipways that we've got here. Not so much this one. This is the one I wish people would use a little bit more often. But this one over here... 
where they just all seem to like to take this turn, which um, is unfortunate. I, I wanted them to all go that way on this side and, and that way on this side, but unfortunately it doesn't seem to be the way that the world wants to work. Though I do think there is a very nice looking building here. Over on our right we have our, what I'm going to term low wealth residential apartments. Apartments, yes. Uh, and I've dropped myself in amongst a park here. Uh, as you can see, all rather modest looking houses next to the train line with bus stops on the go. Uh, let's just make our way back to the main road, which I believe is just over here. This main road is, of course, one of the busiest places in our city. Perhaps could do with uh, upgrading because of it. Uh, but this does lead to less land value in the area. And, of course, heading on up towards Tree Cutters Hill up here. Uh, we are definitely starting to push down towards a more industrial feel of the area. You can tell everything's starting to look a little bit smoggy. These trees, they're trying their best. They really are trying their best, but unfortunately they just cannot handle the abuse that is being thrown at them from around the room, uh, from around the, the sector. This seems to be another, another place of uh, intense traffic, once again mainly due to our cargo train station here. It's pretty good, it's pretty good, but... Yeah, we could do better. We could do better. Okay, so now if I just kind of run my way over here, we should be able to find the junction again. And we enter into our main sort of uh, residential area here. This, of course, being the strip. This was one of the first places we put down and named. Uh, we've got our high school on this side. Is this high school or university? Sorry. This is the university. A rather modern looking build. Uh, with the transport tower in the background there, really giving a nice little counterpoint to what's going on. This is the weirdest uh, residential building in the world. It refuses to actually speak to me. Uh, it refuses to actually move, sorry, <laughs> for it speak to me. Uh, so it's kind of put itself down in amongst all this, um, this pathway and pedestrian access, which is quite nice when you get up the hill. I am surprised that all the elderly residents of my area can deal with stuff like this. But, you know, that's the way we're going to have to deal with it. I should really have put my mouse cursor on a button other than space, because now when I want to use my mouse cursor, we, we pause it and, and it just keeps rolling. I mean, look down here. <laughs> well, but we will do something about that. Of course, we have now our high school and elementary schools uh, dealing with all the education of our citizenry's needs. Uh, once again, the metro station. It's a shame that we can't walk down there in the first person mod. I would like to. Uh, and I think we could do with a little bit more density on our buildings over here. Let's try and pull out of here. Where does it, where does it want to put me? Uh, but yeah, these buildings here look like they could definitely use a little bit more density to go with the theme of what's going on in the buildings around us. I don't know. Tell me what you guys think of this area around here. I, I feel like it could do with some work. Not so much the sprawl itself. This main uh, this main walkway down here, main, main thoroughfare, if you will, is looking pretty good, I think. Okay, up here we have our commercial zone and the busiest bus stops in the world. Uh, these guys definitely coming from all the residential roads around here. Perhaps we could do with making a few more bus stops. I'm quite liking the feel of the city around here. It's got a nice hustle and bustle to it. Uh, it's, it. It feels like a nice living city. That uh, Things are going on. We don't have too many massive skyscrapers around, though we do have birds of prey just flying around making everything look nice. It's amazing. Okay, and we're coming up towards one of our busiest junctions. This is not the busiest junction. I think that one might be down there towards the, uh, the station. But this is downtown. This is the downtown area. This is where everyone likes to come and get their thing on. Uh, we have the Law Accounting and Fault Deck. I should imagine that somewhere we have ourselves a nice little nightclub somewhere. Possibly. I mean, hairdressers above the nightclub sounds like something that goes on. And you can hear the bustle of the, of the place really is quite, quite astounding back here. This is where the city truly lives. Uh, nice little plaza way, actually, here. Let's try and get our way around, have a nice little look on the internal area here. Get, you get away from the road and then suddenly everything is just a nice nice relaxed area we have here some sort of government building maybe uh, this is the back of the mall of uh, modernity I believe this is one of the unique buildings that we put down let's walk around the outside just like a real sim and go and have a look at what's going on the parking situation here is obviously pretty brutal but you know r not running any mods we've not been able to put any parking lots down so people haven't really been able to take advantage of it uh, things sold at this mall We've got squirrel donuts. I, I presume that it's 
squirrel flavoured donuts. I mean, what, what else would that lovely pink colouring be apart from squirrel? Uh, and we've got some ice cream over here. Of course, all coming round with some sushi and noodles. Lovely. Okay, this is one of the more, more hectic areas of the uh, of the area. Uh, I took everybody's advice and upgraded this roundabout to a freeway. The traffic is definitely flowing a lot nicer here. We're going to jump on these roads and just kind of wander down this way. Have a look uh, towards our transportation uh, central plaza area bit. I'm not sure what we would call this area. Uh, you can see there are plenty of pedestrian access, uh, we will get rid of that quickly, plenty of pedestrian access around, uh, especially coming from the commercial zones over there. Wow, when you look at this, let's, let's take this bridge, shall we? Let's, let's take a look and see at the view greeting our sims here. This, this is a look, this is a real sort of cityscape here, you know, you take your raised walkway between all the buildings, coming over towards your transportation nexus, where you can come down and take the appropriate bus. Uh, not too keen on the way these guys have to use the um, the crosswalks here, the zebra crossings, whatever you want to call them. Uh, but they seem to do the job. These areas in between, they seem a little barren. Maybe this is something we need to do. From up above, it doesn't seem too bad, but this, this is definitely an area that needs some work. Alright, so if we come back down along this way, and, and now I'm going to take a, a, a walk outside of town. We're going to follow this freeway, we're going to probably take a, a way that cars would. In fact, if we're going to take the ways that the cars would, we're going to go up and over this, up and over this bridge. Over here is just kind of small residential zones. Uh, we don't have a name for this area yet, do we? Uh, I believe it's just like the other side of the sprawl. Let's have a look. Yeah, perhaps this would be uh, Coldrich Estate. I think, I think that might be what we do here. Uh, you can see it is mainly just uh, not so much low wealth, but low density residential. Uh, it looks nice. There is a little bit of uh, smog on the go on this side. I'm not sure what... Ah, because I was too far down. Let's come up here. That's better. So there wasn't a bit of smog. We would just happen to be over in the commercial zone there. Uh, quite nice houses here. Are we talking high wealth? We're talking quite high wealth. Not, ex Ooh, ah. Not exceedingly high wealth, but high enough to be able to be pulling the uh, the premium bucks. This is, of course, on the edge of the city. We will be expanding outwards towards these hills. One thing I did notice, we've got a, a very nice mountain over there that we could probably do with making use of. Uh, once again, coming back towards the city centre, you can see the transportation tower on the right over there. But instead of going into actual downtown, we're going to take a r uh, left here and come along to other um, junctions. We're going to carry on swinging round. I would like to upgrade that particular road, this one, uh, to, to something a bit more oomphy. Uh, if I come out of here, you can see that these guys, they literally only have the option of going um, on the, the right-hand side or the left, depending on which direction you're coming from. But that, this curve here is pretty much the only way people can go. So I would like to upgrade them to slightly more high thoroughfare traffic areas. Okay, and now we have the main residential area of our zones. Ooh, and some trees, some lovely, lovely trees. It keeps putting me a very, very long way back. But let's take the opportunity to uh, take a look across our city here from the outside. It does look incredibly nice. I would like to get maybe some low, low residential, low density around here. And I've just noticed that all these bushes actually float just a little bit. Can you see that, little Jedi bushes? Crazy. Right around here we have our main residential zones. Uh, to our right was the first sort of high density area we ever built. This is of course connected via pathways to our main residential zone. If we come back here and have a look we can see just over there, not residential, commercial. I do apologise for the slight slippage of the words. Uh, here is indeed the first major um, pathway, you can see it comes through. And this is the, uh, the downtown area that I was in earlier. Of course there is the Mall of Moderation, uh, Modernity, whichever one it is that we've actually got back there. I can't hold uh, I called them so I, I, I've, I've used the two words so interchangeably moderation and modernity um, that uh, I don't know which one it is we've actually got anymore now of course inside these towering residential blocks apartment blocks we do have the odd bit of commercial because people they want to be able to enjoy their day off right they don't need to have to come into downtown properly to be able to enjoy themselves uh, they should be able to do so from the confines of their own little housing estate uh, so over here we have a, a 
a tunnel. Again, unfortunately, it's not a tunnel we can use, but it does cross the highway, the main highway that separates out the two high-density zones here. Uh, let's try and get our way back over here. If we just kind of look down and tap. Alright, perfect. Uh, and that gives us an opportunity to come over and have a look at this residential area. Now, this is almost entirely uh, apartment blocks. You can see we do have one or two commercial zones around here, but it's really not much. And they are just kind of hangovers from when this used to be a little bit of office space down here. Uh, this is no more. It is now entirely residential. Of course, we have fire stations and elementary schools. No, police station. Uh, we should have elementary schools around. The education in this area is exquisite. One of the things that parents talk about when trying to move around is uh, how nice the, the education zone is around here. I think these buildings look absolutely beautiful. We do have a bit of a burned down building problem. It possibly means that we need to address our... Oh, look, we've just had new new buildings gone in. Might have to address our fire situation over that way somewhere. Uh, once again, squirreled flavoured donuts. Wonderful. Wonderful. Okay, all around us things are going on. And look at this view across here. Now, I know that's a bit of an industrial hellhole over there. Oh, and we also need to build a police station. But as views across the coastline go, I don't think that is terrible. We could probably do something with, the, oh, hello, with these uh, pylons here. Like that, that's not great, is it, this, this view? But it is definitely uh, giving a feel of what is going on. Medical centre on the corner of busy roads. Of course, this is something that needs to happen. Uh, I'm not sure if it's really the best place to put things. And we have, we're being followed by a police officer. Uh, yeah, there he goes, there he goes. No, keeping our streets safe for us. And, of course, for these sims. Uh, we have a bus stop here outside the metro station. This is, of course, a fairly standard ploy. Uh, to be able to get everything looking all right. Okay, so let us come out of here and have a look around again, if we can just steady our camera. Where have we not had a good look at? So over here, we have our water pumps. Now, I don't think this is going to really be the best sort of views here. Uh, let's speed up over here. This is our water section. We used to have a, uh, a dam going across here, but unfortunately, the uh, the reduced water flow meant that all our sewage from over there was starting to leak out and indeed uh, we had a big problem if we can just come back here with this sewage here kind of it was starting to backflow all the way back here there was just an ever so slight backflow if we have a look at the, the thing here you see this forward flow is now coming out here and hopefully it should start pushing all of this round and in here I noticed there is a little bit of a dead zone there I'm not sure exactly how we can deal with that but that is something that has to be dealt with and I'm just going to take a moment to come down onto the water look at our Statue of Liberty there isn't it amazing it is the only monument we have access to at the moment uh, there appears to be a little bit of a problem with the deaths on the go but that's probably because I've just been running around in first person mode without actually doing anything to uh, manage the city here we're going to take a quick look at this industrial zone over here just mainly to have a look at this power tower asset um, i I think these things in real life are amazing and being able to have one in the city skylines here is absolutely phenomenal. I, I'm really enjoying it. Uh, of course these work by the, uh, these are not solar panels, these are mirrors reflecting all the light up until up to that cent central point where there is a great big water tank and it kind of cycles around and there's a, a turbine back here uh, and it's great, it's amazing. Once again using some sort of power source to boil water and then turn that into electricity. These are the only things that really don't do that. And with that, guys, I'm going to say thank you very much for joining me for this very brief tour. It's not been amazingly long because we don't have amazingly much to look around. Uh, it's been 20 episodes, but they have been 20 very tweakable episodes. But anyway, as I say, I'm going to say thank you very much for joining me for this small tour. I will see you next time where... I little bit of a spoilers we're gonna destroy this area here and make a much nicer industrial park or maybe turn that into residential and start an industrial zone over here though i would like to keep some industrial here bye